Music streaming has come a long way since the OG days of LimeWire. It's 2022 and the era of Spotify is among us. While this is an upgrade in many ways, it comes at the cost of a paid subscription, but more importantly, your data. One glance at the privacy policy will make any privacy advocates cringe, and sadly, Spotify isn't alone here. Most streaming platforms collect almost an offensive amount of data that is totally unnecessary to run a simple service of playing music. Today, we're taking a look at modern music streaming options to evaluate how they perform when it comes to your privacy. This video is sponsored by Local Monero, one of the safest ways of acquiring the private by default cryptocurrency Monero to protect your online transactions. Not to mention it being one of my favorite services in the entire crypto space. Local Monero is easy to use, offers top tier security, and offers a KYC free experience, allowing you to trade peer to peer with the utmost privacy. Stay tuned for more information on Local Monero, or go ahead and check them out right now down below. Before getting into the decent and actually private options, let's cover the crap options and why they're not private. Everything from Spotify and Pandora to Tidal and Deezer have questionable privacy policies and apps that are loaded with unnecessary trackers that track so much more than just your music streaming habits, but anything they can collect on your phone to be correlated with every other app and service you use. In this case, even when you're paying for the product via a subscription, you're actually still the product, making these services a good thing to avoid if privacy is what you're chasing. While we encourage everyone to look at the decent and actually good options later in this video, we do have some steps to make these crap options slightly less crappy. Go into your services settings and enable any privacy settings available to you, even if they're superficial at best. Only give them necessary information, permissions, and ideally use alias information with services like simple login, privacy.com, or better yet, obtaining gift cards IRL to pay privately. Keep as many of them in your browser as possible, like using the Spotify web app, instead of downloading it to your desktop. Use a VPN if you feel like keeping your IP address private. And finally, if you're on an Android device, consider keeping these invasive apps in a work profile or a second user account if this option is available on your device to keep it away from your personal applications. That's about all you can do, and it's still not great, so let's move into the decent options to address the root privacy problems. First up, Apple Music. Before you dismiss us, hear us out. First, it is cross-platform and does not require any Apple devices. There is an Android app, which only has two trackers that you can actually sort of turn off compared to the obscene number in the other options, and you can use it with open source clients on desktop. Cider is an amazing FOSS Apple Music client available on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. If privacy is your top priority and you want something super simple and usable with features you'd expect from any other streaming platform, this is our top recommendation. Seriously, go get Cider and start their GitHub repo and support the project because it's just incredible. Just to recap, you don't need any Apple devices for this. Apple can generally be more trusted than most of these other companies. They have better security than these other companies and their service is undeniably more private, especially with FOSS client options on desktop. Apple Music is not bad at all and you can apply our tips from the crap section to make it even better. If you hate Apple or just want to avoid a subscription altogether, we have two other options for you, both of which are more DIY, but they are free of charge and arguably more private at the cost of some usability. New Pipe is a FOSS YouTube frontend of available on F-Droid, which is an open source app store for any Android device. It allows you to watch YouTube videos ad-free, subscribe to channels without a Google account, supports autoplay, playlists, and more. It's pretty much YouTube premium. Newpipe also has beta support for several other services, including SoundCloud and Bandcamp. The main downsides are that it's available only on Android, and it's not a polished, straightforward solution like something like Apple Music. If none of these drawbacks bother you though, Newpipe is a great app that is 100% free and open source for any Android device, and even if it doesn't work for your music streaming needs, it's an awesome app we still recommend everyone use for YouTube to watch maybe our content. The final option is similar to New Pipe, but it's also available on iOS and other operating systems, and that's the open source Brave browser. Brave blocks ads out of the box and supports background audio on both iOS and Android, so you can have a similar streaming experience to New Pipe via the YouTube mobile site. The biggest downside here is that you'd need a Google account to stay logged into YouTube if you want to create and keep track 
track of playlists and be served recommendations, though you can also use bookmarks within Brave to keep track of other users' playlists if you like someone else's stuff. This solution is definitely the least polished of the three in this section and also has the most limitations, but it is a free, decently private option available to you that retains background playback on any device of your choice ad-free. All right, so we've laid out the crap options and the decent options, but are there any options that are just like truly private? And yes, eh, let's get into it. The most private option for music streaming is to self-host your own music server. The options here are limitless and incredibly private, but at the cost of complexity. This is for advanced users, so we won't be explaining the technical jargon as we assume you know what you're talking about if you're considering this option at all. Spotifyer lets you download data to playback on Android devices with some web apps and desktop apps to play with. You can use an app like Power Apache that can connect to certain Nextcloud configurations via Apache. So you can get your own audio library going on any device of your choice. Aerosonic Advanced is a fork of a fork of Subsonic, a self-hosted music solution, but it hasn't received any updates in a couple years. LMS is another music server solution, and Coel is an extremely beautiful and polished option with open source mobile apps. There are probably several dozen more self-hosted options, but these are some of our favorites to help you get started on your journey. Finally, you can be super old fashioned and get an MP3 player or iPad pod to host your library completely offline, or just keep your local library on each of your devices individually and manually sync them if there's any changes going forward. But a little inconvenient. I hate KYC, or Know Your Customer Laws, which requires users to identify themselves to the sites they visit. They're an active attack on digital privacy and are an especially common problem in the cryptocurrency world. Luckily, not all services require KYC, and Local Monero is one of them. So not only do they never know who you are, but you're using them to buy and sell one of the most private cryptocurrencies to date, all directly peer-to-peer -peer with other users. You can buy and sell online, in person, with countless currencies, and even with other cryptocurrencies. Check out Local Monero down below to see how it works and get started today. I absolutely adore this service. And there you have it, our list of the best private music streaming options in 2022. To recap, most mainstream services like Spotify and Pandora, while feature-filled, are very invasive. There are some precautions you can take, but it's better to avoid these if you can. Apple Music is the best traditional subscription-based service with an option for open source desktop clients and much better privacy than similar services. Newpipe is a great Android-only app to stream YouTube videos and create playlists without a Google account. Using Brave is an ad-free way to stream music in the background on mobile and desktop. And for ultimate control, you can self-host your own music server or rewind the clock 10 years and use an iPod completely offline. I just realized scripting this, we probably should have said 20 years. We hope this video was helpful to you, and if it was, please give it a like and consider subscribing for more privacy-focused content. If you'd like to support our mission in spreading privacy to the masses, you can also join our Patreon at patreon.com slash techlore, where we have amazing perks for you in exchange for helping us make these videos free to the world. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next time, and don't forget to check out our Patreon and give us some love.